What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel as well as another video. So in this video, I'm going to do an LED um, directional conversion on my uh, 04 Harley Road King. Um, so if you're anything like me, the first thing that I did was uh, when I got the bike is I got rid of those super ugly uh, yellow and red lenses, changed them out to the smoke lenses. Uh, I was still running a regular normal bulbs on the bike and um, so the front was fine, uh, but when I, you know, when you go ahead and have that integrated directional and brake light set up uh, and you go to hit the back brakes, uh, these uh, lights will glow um, yellow because they're not like a red bulb that's in there. And I thought about going ahead and getting red bulbs and just kind of, you know, calling it good and everything. Um, but all the red bulbs that I could find, they all like seem to like be have really bad reviews. People say they burned out prematurely. All the coating, you know, just kind of fries off them over time. So that got me to thinking and I was really batting it back and forth. And I decided that I was going to uh, change these over to LEDs. Uh, the problem when you go ahead and change these um, Harleys over to LEDs is they tend to hyper flash. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, um, when you put your blinker on after you change out to an LED, you'll get like a, a couple of regular flashes. It'll be normal, fairly normal. And then all of a sudden, um, that, that light will just blink really, really quickly um, and it doesn't stop. Uh, so uh, in order to do that, you need to, um, you need to do a load resistor. In place, and I started looking into the load resistors. And well, usually when you buy some of these kits, uh, they come with load resistors. And if you've ever done HIDs in a car, um, I have a, a Dodge Ram, and it has canvas. So again, you have to do all this kind of crazy stuff in order to get these things to work. Well, they come with these. So uh, when you buy it, when you buy the kit, um, but I wasn't really keen on cutting into all my wires. I'm not a big fan of Scotch locks because they tend to cause corrosion, and I've had wiring fail because of them uh, in the past. So that's kind of not what I was going for. And there's a bunch of different uh, load resistors that you can buy that are already pre-assembled. So they're ready to go. You just plug and play, which is kind of what I'm after. So started looking around. Badlands makes a few different ones. There's a bunch of them out there. If you search them on Amazon, search them on eBay, you'll find them. Uh, but I found this one right here uh, on Amazon and it's like 24 bucks, I think. Um, and supposedly it has really good reviews. Supposedly it works really well. Uh, the only issue with these is, uh, these guys tend to get really hot. So they do recommend that you do not mount them any, you know, near any wiring or anything. You're going to want to like kind of tie them off somewhere and just kind of let them hang so that they can, uh, so they can stay cool. They can have a little bit of airflow around them. So I have to just make sure I go ahead and do that, but this is going to make it a lot easier. I'm just going to put this in line. Um, and that should take care of that whole hyper flash situ situation. So I did go ahead and um, buy these LEDs off of uh, Amazon as well. I want to say they were like, it was like $53.99 or something like that, some odd price. Um, but uh, they look like they're going to work. They had good reviews. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and put these in. Uh, the other cool thing is, not like I needed them, but they did also come with uh, smoked lenses. Uh, I purchased my smoked lenses separately. I think they were like 9 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I'm just going to change them out. I mean... I have a set that's brand new now, so might as well just go ahead and put those in. Uh, it'll be that much more shinier and, and nice. All right, so let me get set up here, and we'll start taking this thing apart. I'll show you exactly what goes into changing these over. I'm um, thinking it's going to be a pretty easy uh, setup, but uh, we'll find out as we get going on it. So give me a second, and I'll get set up. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab a number two screwdriver, and we're going to remove the screws that are holding this lens on. those out of the way. Go ahead and grab that 1157 and pull it out of there. We're going to take our LED, which by the way, um, I failed to mention this before. Uh, so I looked at a bunch of different ones before I actually bought these. Uh, some of the really cheap ones, they just give you the base with just wires going in there. These are actually a little bit nicer. They have a nice machined piece there that kind of carries all the wiring and it actually gives you um, something to hold on to while you're turning those in. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a plus there. So we're gonna go in and put this guy into place and then we will set it up here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I was talking about uh, with that whole hyper flash thing. So when we put the uh, ignition on, you're gonna see a halo 
all right? And that's kind of a nice little added bonus too. So you're gonna get some, some extra visibility. You get this halo that just pretty much stays on the whole time the bike is running. Uh, but then when you go to hit the blinker, it switches to this directional. So it flashes normal and then it goes into this hyper flash mode. Uh, the load resistor that we're gonna install is what is going to take care of that and cause that to stop because uh, I definitely do not like that. So the next thing that we need to do that's pretty much ready to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and put our lens on and I'm gonna use one of the new lens covers because why not? Go in there, set it back in, put our screws back into place, tighten them down. One thing I will tell you um, when you're doing this, these lenses, I mean, they're not aftermarket. They're not the, uh, they're not the most highest of quality. Uh, if you over torque your screws, uh, you definitely run the risk of, um, run the risk of your plastic kind of cracking. So you want to be really careful uh, when you go to put those screws in and uh, just don't torque them down too hard. All right. So there's one done right there. So that's that's going to be finished. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the remaining three, and then we'll go ahead and put the uh, the load resistor in and see if we can stop that hyper flash from happening. So let me get these done, and I'll get back to you. So let's check them out. So as you can see, they do look really cool from the front. Uh, I don't think you can see it too well in the video. Uh, it kind of looks like the whole thing is just glowing white, but this is actually a halo um, that's glowing. And uh, they definitely give off some added light. Again, we just gotta rectify uh, that situation right there. They do look really nice, they glow. Uh, pretty well and again I get back that nice red color that I really liked it just really was horrible when you'd hit the brakes with those amber bulbs in there and the smoked lenses it looked like you were just flashing your directionals so every time you step on the brake so that'll be good all right so the next thing is going to be to go ahead and uh, install this guy uh, this is going to require removing the seat uh, that harness that I got to plug into is directly underneath this rear seat so let me go ahead and get that off and uh, we'll get at it all right, so if you take a look at it, uh, on this bike, um, the harness is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna separate these two. Uh, this is going to plug directly into this connector and this connector is gonna uh, plug directly into that. In essence, just basically uh, putting this thing in line um, of this wiring harness and these load resistors are what is going to correct that hyper flash issue. Um, and uh, yeah, everything should be fine after that. Uh, again, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I do notice that someone has gone ahead and zip tied uh, this. I don't know if that, I don't think that's, I really doubt that's factory. Um, it just, this is kind of zip tied to this airline though. So I really don't wanna yank on that too hard. Thinking about running this harness around the front of this bracket for the, uh, for the backrest. And maybe if I have enough lead, which I think I do, I might just scoot those right down in between there and just kind of let them hang. There's metal here. I mean, the battery's right there. I don't think they're going to get hot enough that that should be an issue, um, but uh, not quite sure. We'll have to figure that out when we get to it. So, all right, let me get these things hooked up and we'll go from there. Well, that was relatively painless. A uh, couple little uh, clips and we're in. All right, so let's first and foremost, before I even go ahead and hard mount this thing, let's make sure it does exactly what it's supposed to, shall we? All right, so we'll put this blinker on. And that is awesome. No more flash. And let's go ahead and shut that off and check out the other side. I would say that's good to go. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do, like I said, is just going to be to hard mount that. 
Uh, real quickly, I think I'm going to let these kind of go for a second. I just want to see uh, exactly how warm these things get. So I'm going to kind of leave the blinkers on for a minute and just kind of see what happens here. All right, so these do get hot. Um, I'm pointing at them, and they've been on for about, I don't know, maybe about a minute, minute and a half. Certain areas, you're at the 80s, you get down towards the bottom here. You get anywhere close to uh, the very end of this thing. These things get warm. So we're at like somewhere in the neighborhood of 150. So that should give you an idea of the fact that we do not want to, uh, yeah, they're hot to the touch. Uh, I don't think they'll cook or anything, but uh, I understand now what they're talking about, make about making sure these things don't touch any wiring. So um, these are going to get uh, put down in the side here. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna attach them yet, but uh, let me do some looking around here and get an idea of what I wanna do. I've used these little, uh, these little guys before. They get warm, but uh, they don't get that warm. At least not that I've noticed. And I'm assuming the longer the blinker stays on, uh, the hotter it's going to get. So let me do some looking around and see where the most safest place to uh, sink these is going to be. Uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, after trying a few different configurations, uh, this is what I came up with. Originally, I was going to run this harness uh, underneath this bracket, kind of bring everything over here, and then try to get more wiring there. But then I realized if I just took my uh, hold down for my battery off and ran it underneath there and just put it back in gave me ample wire i took a zip tie right around this little bracket right here uh, they're hanging uh, and they're not touching any wiring there is a harness directly under here that comes within maybe an inch of it um, but the way these are sitting they're sitting tight and one is kind of pointing in that direction the other one's up there they're not making contact with the battery either and the heat from these uh you know the the, the metal will actually help because the heat will dissipate into the steel and uh, shouldn't have an issue there. So I did run the bike for about mm, five minutes or so, uh, ran the blinkers and everything, and um, yeah, definitely, uh, they get warm. They certainly get warm. So uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you uh, route these things accordingly, uh, make sure you don't have any issues. I did go ahead and just kind of bulked up my two connectors and ran some E-tape around it just to kind of make it uh, a little bit more sanitary. This is always kind of a mess under here. There's not a whole lot you can do with it, um, but. Again, there's a seat that goes over it, so you don't even see it. So as long as everything clears with the seat on, you're good to go. All right, I'm going to get this thing reassembled and uh, finishing touches here. All right, and we're all back together. Uh, that was a nice, quick, easy, fairly cost-effective upgrade uh, to do to the bike. The LEDs are going to look a whole lot better uh, than the standard bulbs did. Uh, plus, it's going to give me a lot more visibility going down the road, and uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, so I will definitely put a link in the description in case you guys are interested in picking those up for your bike. And with that, that is going to wrap up this video. Uh, do me a favor, if you would, hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe, as well as hit the bell for notifications so you know when more videos like this are going to be coming out. All right, until next time, keep the shiny side up, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.